You may have heard about Katy Perry recently tweeted her family and friends and, you know, trying to build bridges after this election and reach out to those uh, that she's close to that are Trump supporters and try to unify, you know, try to love each other. And of course, people on her side, the left, are trying to cancel her even as we speak. And they just let her have it. Which reminds me that Joe Biden is now president and everybody thinks my Democrat friends have told me, oh, he is going to unify the country, bring dignity back to the office. You know, normalcy will return, whatever that is. Now, let me say a couple of things. One is, as a historian, there's never been a moment of unity ever in the history of our government and our politics. And if you're looking for that, listen, you need to find somebody to love, give your life to, and marry them. Or join a church. These are two institutions known for unity and love and, you know, all this togetherness stuff. All right? So get away from that. But with that said, Joe, if he's going to try to be a unifier, you know, bring dignity to the office and bring civility back, all this kind of stuff, then, hey, I've got some questions. As a person who voted for Trump, here they are. Number one. I have been called a racist and a white supremacist for the entire time Trump has been president, plus all the other 70 million of his supporters. So, Joe, if you don't believe that, Joe, tune on MSNBC, CNN, you'll hear it every single night, still going on. They also call me a fool, I'm stupid, I reject science, and you just go through the rest. Do you believe that, Joe? Because if you do, it's appalling to me. It makes me want to kick your you-know-what. Not a great way to unify. And if you don't agree with that, will you stop it? Will you speak out you know, against that? I also want to remind you, Joe, what is not a picture of civility and unity is all this uh, rioting stuff, looting that's going on, arson. And it's interesting. It's all in Democrat cities. These are your people. Can you do anything to stop that? Will you stop that? Because that will be a first step in trying to pull all of us together you know, without, without question. And then you have people in your party, Joe. Robert Reich, for a good example, he was Bill Clinton's labor secretary. Of course, Keith Oberman, so many others that said, you need to go after Trump supporters, have them arrested, put them on trial, put them in jail, even Trump at the top, kill them. Capital punishment for some. Do you agree with this rhetoric, Joe? Are you online with this? Or will you speak out against that or simply just stop it? And then the worst thing of all for me is this cancel culture. It's what they're trying to do to Katy Perry. You know, this is where you, you know, people go after you until you lose your job. They shame you on social media, boycott your business, whatever, to get you to shut up and be destroyed in your life because you weren't politically correct. Will you speak out against that, Joe? And lastly, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, will you condemn them because they are Marxist organizations, or excuse me, Antifa is just an idea. Do you know what the idea is, Joe? Because if you don't, it's Marxism, and it needs to be condemned. They want to tear down everything we're about. So, Joe, if you really want to unify, there's some places to start.